Hello. This is a video on multiplication and division with zeros. First, we're going to look at multiplication. When you're multiplying with zeros at the end of the numbers, you can use the following strategy. Drop the zeros, multiply the numbers, and put them back on. So 20 times 400. Drop the zeros, take 2 times 4, write down 8. Then count up the zeros and put those on the end. So the answer is 8,000. Here's some more examples. 4 times 70 has one zero, so we get 280. 50 times 90 is 45 with two zeros, 4,500. 50 times 80 has two zeros originally. Now 5 times 8 provides one zero, so we get 40 and two additional zeros for a total of three zeros. <clears throat> a quick review on division. There's three ways that we can write division with the old-fashioned division sign looking like this, the slash, or as a fraction. Each of these means 60 divided by 2. When dividing with zeros on the end, we can use the following. Cancel zeros, drop some of the zeros, divide and put the zeros back on. Our first example is 45,000 divided by 50. One zero on the top and one zero on the bottom cancel because that's dividing top and bottom by 10. Then I ignore the two zeros and take 45 divided by 5 and get 9 and then put the two zeros back on. In this example I have 4,200 divided by 6,000. Two of the zeros cancel. The zero that I'm ignoring is on the bottom this time. 42 divided by 6 is 7. And when I put the zero back on, it needs to go on the bottom. So I get 7 over 10. Here are a couple more examples. 540 divided by 9 will be 60. No zeros cancel on that one. 120 divided by 40 is 3. All of the zeros cancel on that one. In this example, we have 30,000 divided by 60. First thing is to cancel a zero. I'm going to drop some zeros, but this time I'm going to keep one of the zeros on 30 because I want to take 30 divided by 6. 30 divided by 6 is 5. Then I take the two zeros that I ignored and put those back on to get an answer of 500. If you'd like to practice your basic facts, you can use multiplication.com. And if you'd like to practice some of these with zeros, you can use Quizlet deck. Let me go ahead and show you the Quizlet deck. Here we are at the Quizlet deck. And on the front of the card here, is going to give you the problem 2 times 60 and then you click the card to flip it after you've answered it in your head it should be 120 to see if you're correct then you could advance ahead here to see the next problem to use this particular Quizlet deck you do not want to have any of the boxes checked here at the top which means you're going to be showing what's called the definition first have a great day